It's the final day of the Rolex Big Boat Series here in San Francisco, California. Hi, I'm Tucker Thompson, and there's only one race scheduled today, the traditional 20-mile Bay Tour, which will take the entire fleet crisscrossing all across San Francisco Bay. This race will determine the IRC national champion as well as the winners that will take home a brand new Rolex timepiece. In two of the divisions, the lead is separated by only one point. The J120 is its chance in Desdemona. The Express 37s are Golden Moon and Blade Runner. And in the competitive J105 class, the lead is tied between Donkey Jack and Blackhawk, putting all the pressure on this final race. Okay. It's going to be a really competitive day. Blackhawk has certainly been our competition all season long, and for us, we're hoping for a repeat like last year when we won the race. So let's hope we seal the deal. It's just been a phenomenal regatta. Uh, the J105 fleet, the lead has changed every single day. Very close racing. And uh, today, we're tied for first with Donkey, and we're fast. And my primary objective is just to minimize mistakes we've been making them, and if we can not make some of the mistakes we've been making, I think we can win this thing, and that's our goal. As with every start this week, the catamarans are off first. Without even having to complete this race, Peter Stomberg's shadow has this division wrapped up. RCA is next. <laughs> Time on distance is crucial. IRCA pushes the line in an ebb tide. Jim Schwartz is Vesper. Wins the start at the pin. Pin end seems to be the place to be. The next start is off. They're all fighting for it. All clear. Particularly good for the far 40 to lure and twist it. IRCC is next. Some of them fought for this pin end, but it belongs to a one design 35 Alpha Puppy. Peter Kruger's double trouble has a four point spread on this division. In IRCD, Hawkeye and Tupelo Honey are separated by only one point. That gun in the background was the start, but these two are still match racing 200 yards from the line. They both have a comfortable margin over eight points on the rest of this fleet, so the race doesn't matter. It's just between who beats who. Over a minute after the start, start, Hawkeye goes back, but they have held Tupelo Honey out by four boat lengths. The Bay Tour is perfect for a catamaran like this. We're doing 25 miles an hour just to keep up. There's Caspi Bailey on board, the youngest crew member in the 105. Rio flies downwind. All of the fleets are underway. All of the fleets are overlapping here. The seals are getting quite a good show as well. Imagine this conversation. That's the last time I let you pick which mark to hang out on. In
In the Express 37's, Blade Runner is doing what she needs to do, beating Golden Moon, and the sea breeze has arrived. Rock and roll rolls over on the edge. The sea breeze is making it hard to have a tight reach. At the top mark for the 105s, Pat Benedict's advantage three is in the lead. There's Donkey Jack rounding just inside this one design 35. They're in about seventh overall for the 105s, but they're beating Blackhawk. One Design 35s are hard to keep flat in this type of angle, as evidenced by these guys. Thank you very much. It's one tight reach to another, and the wipeout potential is good. San Francisco Bay presents all types of challenges. Ferry boats, Alcatraz, shallow spots, and this tight reach doesn't make it any easier. It's a really tough call for these guys to keep the kite up on their edge. If they lose it down to lure, they could hit Alcatraz. So it's Godot who's able to keep the spinnaker up and have passed advantage three for the lead. They could be winning the regatta. In the J120s, you know Desdemona has to beat Chance. And so far they are. Victory could be theirs, but it's a long day. Looks like Double Trouble sealing the deal in their division as well. Upwind in the 105s, Advantage 3 is back out in front of the fleet. Godot has slipped back to second. But Donkey Jack has ground their way back to fourth. They are leading this division yet again. By definition, the Bay Tour is a long day. They'll have to reach all the way down past Treasure Island and back up wind to the bridge. Godot and Advantage 3 have been trading blows in this entire race. Now the lead goes back to Godot and the question is, where is Donkey Jack? Godot needs three points on Donkey Jack to win it. And Donkey Jack is exactly three points back right now. As 
as in any top championship. It should come down to this close in the final race. Philip Levy wins the race. And Donkey Jack takes fourth, but in a tiebreaker, they've won the regatta. And so another Rolex Big Boat Series comes to a close. Some walked away with the championship, like Jim Schwartz's Vesper in IRCA. For others, like we just saw in the J105s, it was a very hard fought battle. But for all, it was a terrific day of sailing here in San Francisco Bay. We hope you enjoyed our coverage here from San Francisco. I'm Tucker Thompson.